Here we are, the most recent generation as of making this video. It's exciting. The Japanese Pokemon names thus far have been all over the place. Some generations definitely added more details than others. This time around, in Generation 7, we see that they kinda went back to their roots. Most of the Pokemon have super simple word combination names. Nothing super complex, just one word mixed with another, usually with the last syllable of the first word shared with the first syllable of the second. You know, basic Pokemon naming scheme. Though there are still some super deep ones that you'll love, especially as we reach the end. And once again, I've brought along Mika, a native Japanese speaker to say these names as clearly as possible so that we can break them down without having to deal with me butchering them. So let's get started. Mokuro Simply combines wood and owl. Fukusuro Japanese owl and English throw as it throws darts. Junaipa Japanese tree, English juniper and sniper. Yabi Japanese fire and meow mixed with English tabby. Yahito Japanese meow and fire mixed with English heat. Gaogaen The sound of roaring and flame. Asimari Japanese for sea lion, ball, and English marine. Osamari Japanese for fashionable, young girl, ball, and English marine. Asirenu Japanese sea lion, French siren. Tsutsukera Combines woodpecker with pecking. Kerarappa Woodpecker trumpet. Dodekabashi Large toucan. Yangoose From English, young and mongoose, much like our name for it, young goose. But what's fun is when written out in Japanese like this, it also has Yankee, which is a specific type of Japanese delinquent. These guys, with the hair mimicking mid-20th century American fashion. Hence, the name sounding similar to Yankee. Dekagoose Japanese detective, English goose. As in mongoose, not the bird. Agojimushi Literally, as in the only difference is the removal of a space, jaw grub. Denjimushi Battery grub. Kuwaganon. Japanese stag beetle, English cannon. Makenkani. Can translate to fighting crab that hates to lose. Kekenkani. Fighting horsehair crab. Odoridori. Dancing, very colored bird. Aburi. Japanese fairy, English lovely and the Japanese spelling of the English word fairy. Aburibon. Japanese bee fly, English ribbon. Also, aren't these bee flies the cutest? I love their full name. Bombali day bee fly. Bombali day. Bombali day. Bombali day bee fly. Iwanko. Combines rock, the onomatopoeia of a dog barking, young animal, and a cute way of saying dog or puppy, like how we say doggy or pupperino. Rugarugan Comes from Rugaru, which is an East Canadian werewolf, and Japanese for a dog's growling and rock. Yowashi Is from weak, frail, and sardine. Hidoide Cruel sea star. Dohidoide Very cruel sea star. Dorobanko is a combination of mud, donkey, draft horse, and young animal. Bambadoro Combines draft horse and mud. Shizukumo Combines drop, as in a water drop, and spider. Onishizukumo Combines their name for the Aranius ventricicus genus of orb weaver spiders with demon and water droplet. Karikiri is pseudo or fake pruning praying mantis. Lalantesu Japanese for orchid mixed with a corruption of mantis. Nemashu A cute way of combining English's mushroom and Japanese sleep. Mashedo This name is fully English, from mushroom and shade, as in the shade of a lamp. Yatoumori Combines burglar and newt. 
遠入と Japanese for flame, bewitching, and English, newt. ぬいこぐま is a combination of stuffed animal and bear cub. きてるぐま can translate to wearing a bear costume. After all, while its previous evolution looks like a stuffed animal, this Pokemon looks like a Japanese mascot character, like a guy in a large suit. Amakaji combines sweet, fruit, and child. Amamaiko means sweet dancing girl. Amajo is a combination of sweet and queen. Kuawa Japanese flower, ring, And English cure, as this Pokemon helps heal others. Yareyutan combines English's orangutan, though the Japanese spelling of it, with yare, which means do it, as this Pokemon is able to command other Pokemon. Ha! <laughs> It's basically named Do It Ape. Nagetsuke Saru combines to throw and monkey. Kosokumushi Is an odd combination of words meaning small, feet, underhanded, and bug. Gusokumusha combines giant isopod, fully equipped, and warrior. Tsunaba combines sandbox and the Japanese equivalent of peekaboo. Shiro desuna. This one is fun. Firstly, it's a combination of the Japanese words for castle and sand with the English word death in the middle, since it's also a ghost. But in a pun like situation, these words combined can be literally read as that's a castle. Huh. Which is great, because yeah, it's a sand castle, but it's also a ghost Pokemon. It also basically summarizes everyone's initial reaction when this Pokemon first got revealed. Ah, that's a castle. Huh. Namakobushi perfectly combines sea cucumber and fist. They definitely came up with the name first and then the Pokemon design. Type Nuru Oh, my favorite. Same name in English. It's literally the English words type, a colon, and null, meaning nothing or zero. Silubadi is from the English words silver and buddy. Mete no Combines the English words meteor and nano. Nekoara is Japanese for root, sleep, young animal, and English koala. Bakugamesu combines explosion and turtle. Togedemaru same name in English, though it's entirely in Japanese, and it literally means thorned and round. Togedemaru. Just remove the spaces. But what's great is that by removing the spaces, you add in some additional meanings in pun like situations, such as the Japanese word for electricity and for the Ryukyu spiny rat. It's great. Mimiku comes from English mimic and the Japanese onomatopoeia for squeaking. And in a pun like situation, this name also is a corruption of mystery. Hagigishiri combines words meaning tooth, file fish, Densely packed, referring to its teeth or its color palette, and bruxism, which is grinding your teeth together. Jijiron. Literally, old man, dragon. Though old man is in Japanese and dragon is in Chinese. Dadari. Combines cursed and rudder wheel. Jarako. Is the Japanese onomatopoeia for jingling, followed by Latin for dragon, followed by Japanese for young animal. Jarango. Is the Japanese onomatopoeia for jingling, followed by English for dragon. Jararanga. Is the Japanese onomatopoeia for jingling, the Japanese onomatopoeia for clanging, and English dragon. Kapu kokeko. Hawaiian for sacred or holy, followed by the Japanese onomatopoeia for a rooster's crow. Kapu tetehu. Hawaiian for sacred or holy, followed by Old Japanese for butterfly. Kapu bururu. Hawaiian for sacred or holy, followed by a corruption of English's bull. Kapu dehire. Hawaiian for sacred or holy, followed by Japanese for fin. Kosumogu. Same name in English, from English's cosmos and fog or smog. Kosumoumu 
is from Cosmos and Latin for egg. Sorugareo. Same name in English, which is a combination of Latin for sun and Latin for lion, as well as Galileo, a famous astronomer who basically showed the world that the Earth rotated around the sun and not the other way around. Lunara. Same name in English, Latin for moon and Latin for wing. And now we reach the Ultra Beasts, extra dimensional Pokemon. Utsuroido. Oh, all right, lots of stuff going on here. Let's start with the English. We have void, meaning nothing, the suffix oid, which means similar in form, and id, referring to psychology, the id, ego, and superego. The id in this case is likely referring to the nihilist side of things. The English name of this Pokemon is Nihilego, after all. Nihilism in a sentence is the belief that life is meaningless. And being a strong nihilist can arise from depression. Which is why, now looking at the Japanese words in this name, we have their word for depression. Void, and the act of moving from host to host. And we could go even deeper with this name, but that's for another time. Moving on to simpler names. Mashibun. Combines English massive with Japanese for buzz and mosquito. Much simpler. Feroce. Is a combination of English pheromone, cockroach, and Italian for fierce. Denjumoku is a combination of electricity, electromagnetism, and tree. Tekkaguya combines gunfire, steel, and Princess Kaguya, the main character of a famous 10th century Japanese folktale called the Tale of the Bamboo Cutter. Long story short, she's a lost princess of moon people who live on the moon. And there's also a Japanese satellite named after the same character. Kamitsurugi paper sword deity. Akuji King. Japanese for consumption of repulsive things. Evil and English king. Nekrozuma. Same name in English, which comes from Japanese for black and ancient Greek for prism, death, and color. And just so you know, rather than the forms being called Dusk Mane and Dawn Wings Necrozma, in Japanese they directly translate to Solar Eclipse and Lunar Eclipse Necrozma. And Ultra Necrozma is still just Ultra Necrozma. Magiana. Same name in English, from English gear and Latin for machine, also possibly mana, meaning power, especially of the magical variety. Marshado. Same name in English, and it's all from English too. It's a combination of martial arts, shadow, and possibly night marchers. Bebenomu. Combines English venom and French baby. Agoyon combines English dragon, Italian needle, Japanese jaw and four, and Korean dragon. Tsunde tsunde comes from the Japanese word for stacked twice. Zugadon literally means head goes boom. Just remove the spaces and you get the name. It's head goes boom. Zeraora Japanese for tiger, Faroese for thunder, and Arabic for beam, glitter, or shine. Meltan. Same name in English, coming from English, melt and tantalum, the metal its nut may be made of. There's a whole two-part theory about it with loads of evidence right here. Check it out, good stuff. Though, ton could also be from the Japanese suffix ton, which is the baby talk version of the suffix chan which itself is somewhat baby talk, and mainly used for close friends and relatives. Meru metaru. Uh, they could have done something cool, and they went with this name instead. It's the same as the English name, from melt and metal, as it's made of melted metal, and in all likelihood, a mercury amalgamation with iron and tantalum nuts. Again, great stuff, those two videos. Check them, they are right here now. And with that, we're up to date. That's all the Pokemon, but come Gen 8, we'll keep going. So until then, you just make sure you never stop using your noggin, and thanks so much for watching this series. What language should we do next, if any? It'll all depend on how well this series does, so if you want some more, definitely share this around. And thanks a billion.